Before we go any further, please note that I do mention baby loss and PTSD in this upfront moment. So go gently. Welcome to your upfront moment. We're building a confidence revolution. Hi friends, I'm Lauren Curry, the founder of Upfront. We're an organisation on a mission to change confidence for 1 million women and non-binary people by 2023. And we do this in three ways. We transform your relationship and habits around confidence, power and visibility through our six week online course. Each cohort is called a bond. Bond is the collective noun for a group of women and over a thousand women have graduated from a bond from over 20 different countries. We build community, real, genuine, human community, where women learn how to stand up for themselves and each other. We hold each other to account. We celebrate each other and learn together. Our community is Global Bond. We create content that will inspire, challenge and motivate you to be upfront. We are here to change confidence, not women. Upfront Moment is designed to kick your week off with confidence, self-compassion and agency. Hi friends, how are you today? Welcome back to your Upfront Moment. Last week we had an incredible episode with Zoe Blasky, the founder of Motherkind. We talked about all things around motherhood and confidence. So it introduced us to this new idea of matrescence. So many of you got in touch to tell me that that episode made you feel less alone. So that makes me feel really happy. So keep listening, keep telling me how you're enjoying these moments. Today, it's a moment just with me and it's a personal one. I feel like this is a bit like opening up my journal and letting you read from it. So thank you for listening. Thank you for being here. Let's talk about belonging. Lack of belonging is a problem I've been trying to solve for myself my whole life. This is why I'm obsessed with building community. And by thinking deeply about belonging, I've realized that it's a huge part of my parents' life too. My dad was forced to live away from his twin sister and his siblings from the age of eight. My mum chose a path of entrepreneurship and side hustling that was very different to the paths that her peers chose. And at school, my friends were brilliant, but I felt different from them. Often I was the only one in my friend group to go abroad on holiday and that made me feel ashamed. And the shirt and tie and suit my dad wore to work generated awe and wonder. At school I was bullied for thinking I was better than everyone else and being too big for my boots. The most memorable note that was scrawled on the walls of the girls' toilets at school said, Lauren Curry thinks she's pretty, but she's got a huge space between her teeth. And so there was always this sense of being torn between wants that felt separated, that felt mutually exclusive. I wanted to smoke cigarettes behind the gym. I wanted to get drunk. I wanted to fit in. I also wanted to be a designer, a writer, an artist. I wanted to go to university and become something, someone. I started my first business when I graduated from university. I was 23. And so I didn't belong to any of the stories of what our 20s are supposed to look and feel like. I was focused. I was shit hot and on an incredible mission. But I did belong. What I belonged to was bigger, bigger than anything that I tried to belong to before. 
And this was organic, not forced, not chased after. It came from within, it came from within me. I belonged to my mission, to my company. I belonged to Scotland. I don't think I'll ever feel belonging to a place as strongly as I did then. And I'm okay with that now. It was me and my co-founder against the world. I belonged and my mission and my work was helping others belong. We helped service providers build services at scale that helped belonging. I'd almost come full circle having and creating belonging from a place there was none. Almost because, bam, that business and my relationship with my co-founder fell apart. And it broke me to leave Scotland. But that's a story for another day. I moved to Manchester with a heavy heart and broken dreams. But there I fell in love with a boy who's also never belonged. The first in his family to go back to school as an adult. The first in his family to go to university. The first to live abroad. The first to say no to the norm. The list is long for him and I'm in awe of him every day. And we bonded through the firsts we'd collected and hoarded as individuals, and since then we've been choosing a path of more firsts together. I moved to London and always felt like an outsider, always feeling one step behind this arrogant city that was always whispering cruelties behind my back. And when I was pregnant, I didn't belong to the story that I was taught to believe about pregnancy. I lost a baby, a baby that was my little boy's twin, just like my dad has a twin. And I very, very nearly lost my own life. And then my baby's birth left me with post-traumatic stress disorder. My story didn't fit. I didn't belong. When my baby was born, I didn't belong to the mum crowd. I was exhausted trying to learn how to be okay with the small talk and the baby chat and their fear of a future of nine to fives that I didn't really understand. And of course, the shadow of my trauma was always a heavy cloud above me, always. We continued not belonging together through the small baby years, but we pushed for more. We arrived in Sweden We didn't speak the language. We don't have a Swedish employer or colleagues. We don't have relatives here. Two years later, we're working hard on belonging. We're having lots of wins. My son belongs here. I can see that in his beautiful face every single day. And now I've built my own community where I belong, where you belong, our community, up front. Upfront, at its very core, is all about belonging. We teach you how to be brave, how to trust yourself, how to show up in the world as you really are. We are creating a community where you show vulnerability, you tell stories you've never told before and you have lots of firsts. You imagine bigger and bolder than you have ever done before. And you start to enjoy things that used to scare the shit out of you. You belong. You belong in this remarkable space where everyone is cheering for you as loudly as they cheer for themselves. And now I know that one of the reasons I care so, so very deeply about the upfront bond is that it's the community I've been longing for my whole life. I'm building the thing that I wish had existed for me. And so this is part of my story. And I know that you have one too. Maybe you moved schools or cities. Belonging is a major theme in how we grow up. It's universal. It plays such a powerful role in how you think about your place in the world and how you show up in your communities. How and where you and I belong. So your upfront challenge this week is to think about belonging. When you were growing up, what were those moments of belonging or not belonging? 
for Global Bonders, what was the moment you felt that you belonged here at Upfront? By being here, you're committing to connecting with your own story. And in turn, you'll build genuine community with strangers who are in fact the best team you've ever been part of. You just haven't met all the players yet. Building this community is my gift to myself because I've lived without belonging my whole life. And the clearer I get about who I am and how my ideas of belonging were shaped and moulded, the more connected I feel to our community, the more I grow, the more I can give and gain from my new belonging. So thank you for choosing to be here. Thank you for choosing to be in community with me. Here's to belonging. Thank you so much for listening, friend. Let me know how you get on with your Upfront challenge. You can always write to me, lauren at weareupfront.com. Let me know what this moment made you think about. And don't forget to sign up to our amazing Upfront newsletter. Every Tuesday, I send links, inspiration and insight around confidence, power and visibility to over 5,000 inboxes. Guaranteed gumption and action. Bye friends, I'll see you on Monday for your next Upfront Moment.